Now to Surfside, Florida, where the search for victims continues. Two weeks after a condominium building collapsed, killing at least 64 people, 76 remain missing. CBS's Manuel Bohorquez is there. Tonight, teams search for victims with the same pace and passion, despite the transition from rescue to recovery. We are working around the clock to recover victims and to bring closure to the families as fast as we possibly can. The only pause came for a moment of silence to mark the end of the rescue effort and two weeks since the building collapsed. Some families of the missing, like 65-year-old Judy Spiegel's, still hope for a miracle. Our goal is the same and it's never changed. We want Judy returned to our family. And, you know, we love her and we want her back with us. Others are trying to spread hope, too. At this memorial wall near the collapse site, we found 17-year-old student Stephen Ferrero, who's taken it upon himself to replace old wilting flowers with new ones, donated by area florists. Our goal is you know, to bring hope to these survivors and the families. But to me, it's very important to have hope. Officials remain concerned about Champlain Tower South's sister building, which is virtually identical. There are no mandatory evacuations, but they are testing concrete samples from that building to determine whether saltwater corrosion could be a problem. Major. Manuel Bohorquez, thank you.